Major data breach from the office of a Beverly Hills plastic surgeon. Topless photos of patients, their financial information and medical records now on display on a public website along with what appears to be private images of the doctor himself. The I-team's Carolyn Johnson with the story. Colleen, according to a report filed with the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, the doctor received an extortion threat in May with the crooks demanding he pay two and a half million dollars to prevent patient data and his own from going public. By early June, someone posted data of 36 patients online and now personal details and pictures of more than 70 patients are on that site and there's concern more could be posted at any moment. I mean, this is just Heinous. Patient Alina Shafi first learned her private information was made very public from another patient of Beverly Hills plastic surgeon, Dr. Gary Modicky. One of the women that had their information compromised on the website contacted me and said, oh my God, oh my God, how much did you pay to get your stuff removed? And were you, did you have any idea what she was talking about? No, I had absolutely no idea. Shafi logged on to the website and found her picture taken at the doctor's office along with her name, phone number, and email address. Since she had nasal surgery, the picture posted is of her face, but many of the other images include patients' breasts along with their names, birth dates, phone numbers, email addresses, and links to their medical records and financial information. Some are known social media influencers, and each week the hacker has added more patients to the site, there are now more than 70 women exposed. Not only have they compromised your financial, your personal, and then they're seeing you in these vulnerable, horrible, like, pictures. Who wants anyone to see those photos? Shafi has now filed a lawsuit citing negligence and intentional infliction of emotional distress. The suit points to the doctor's carelessness in storing extremely private patient information in a way that third parties were able to access it, post it on the internet, and then seek to extort money from Modiki and Modiki's patients. And noting, if this were not enough, defendants also stored extremely disturbing pornographic homemade videos filmed of Dr. Modicky pleasuring himself. Videos and images of what appear to be the doctor are posted at the top of the hacker's website, right above all the patient's data. It's, it's shocking, it's shocking. After learning of the site's existence, Shafi searched her junk mail and found the hacker had reached out to her and other patients on June 8th about the breach and ransom demand. And I immediately emailed the hacker. And what did you learn? That somebody had spent uh, a great deal of money to have my information and my profile removed. And hers was the only one not linked to her medical record and financial information. It's unclear who paid. Shafi says she emailed the hacker offering to also pay for her medical record, but the hacker told her your data was permanently deleted and instead offered her the chance to purchase all the other records on the site for $800,000. She declined. And what does this tell you about your doctor's cybersecurity? It just tells me that he was so reckless and that he just did not care about anyone. I mean, they clearly didn't care about me. That's what she claims in her lawsuit, the failure to take adequate steps to secure highly sensitive patient material was more than negligent, it was reckless. There is a trend towards going for criminals to go down market towards clinics and smaller organizations that are known to be less protected. Mike Hamilton is an information security specialist and consultant with expertise in healthcare cybersecurity. The I-team reached out for his assessment of what may have happened in this case. This one is, it's a little different. He says the data dump of patient records combined with what appear to be very private pictures and videos of Dr. Modicky is unusual. The first question that comes to mind is why were these things mixed up? There are multiple regulators that get involved now. The I-team reached out to Dr. Modicky for an on-camera interview, but he declined, instead sending a statement saying he cannot speak to any pending litigation. But he did confirm the data breach, saying in part, the third party responsible for this situation has made demands for money in exchange for information to be deleted. We and law enforcement cannot guarantee that any payment will result in information being deleted or used in any way in the future. We continue to 
to work very closely with law enforcement. Any advice for these women whose data is now out there? You know, a lot of weirdos are out there and your information is now public. If you start getting uh, advances from uh, people that seem weird, that you should report that sooner rather than later. Jaffe says she and other patients she's spoken with are haunted by this breach. Who else has, has had our information? Did they sell it to somebody else? Does, is it going to be on some other website that we don't even know about? We know the LA County Sheriff's Office is investigating along with the FBI. And in this email to patients, the detective assigned to the case says he was unsuccessful in taking down the website. He told patients it's being operated out of Russia. He also said Dr. Modicky would be offering patients a two year subscription for identity theft protection. The patients we spoke with say that's not nearly enough. We will, of course, keep following this story. For the I Team, I'm Carolyn Johnson.